Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at Hyperdrive ROM. Well, for your Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. So you get all four major US carriers supported with this ROM. So it's a great big bonus, big thumbs up to the developer uh, for making that uh, available for all four major US carriers. And why I really want to show you this, I recently already did a Hyperdrive back in March, so it wasn't that long ago, it was mid-March. And I want to show you another updated version, just because he added so many more options, so many more uh, features that you everyone's going to love. So let's go and take a look at it. Um, first one is the amount of launches you get. So you actually get four launchers, stock launcher from Android, you know, uh, stock like a Nexus 4 device. You get a Samsung TouchWiz with S4 features. Uh, you get that with any feature, but they're just applications. Um, you get Sense for Launcher and Sony Xperia's Launcher, and that one's HTC, um, the Sense 4. So let's go and take a look at the pure Android. So as you can see, all the transitions are very same, uh, very pure. As you can see, the app drawer is uh, very stock-like as well. So you can see all the apps are very stock-like. Everything is very, very um, same as um, a pure Android, like a Nexus 4, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, etc. Or Galaxy Nexus even. So you can see all the uh, animation or transition is all the same. And you get a very, very pure Android look and stock feel to it, uh, which is really nice. Um, let's go and take a look at Sense 4 Launcher from HTC. And here you get a lot of widgets. So you get HTC widget. They can add on any launcher, but I just added onto this one uh, just for the more effect, you know, more matching look. Um, you also get the icons like a, a HTC. Um, all the icons, all the transitions are like an HTC, I believe. I never owned an HTC, but I'm assuming they are <laughs> just by the name of the launcher. <laughs> but as you can see, all the icons, and it's pretty quick. This one has quick transitions, not saying one's faster than the other. Uh, but as you can see, all the uh, it's a simple transition, just a slide. And um, all the icons are changed, as you can see. So uh, this is HTC. Let's go and take a look at Sony Xperia, and then we'll uh, stop with um, TouchWiz from Samsung. So this is a Sony version. Um, let's go and add um, the Xperia um, Sony wallpapers. Um, let's add the let's add um, a nice blue one. And there you go. So that's pretty Sony look uh, looking wallpaper. As you can see, you can add more widgets right here. And all the widgets, all this is very very Sony like. Um, I know the pages on the top is very Sony-like. Um, these widgets are from Sony. I know that as well. Um, icons are very similar to the Sony, uh, true Sony ones as well. So you can see transitions. You can notice that. And just the after all in general. So you can do own order, alphabetical if you want to change it. Um, you can change most, most used if you want to change the launcher. So you get a ton of launches, a lot of options if you prefer one over the other. And let's go and go with Sony, or sorry, Samsung and always. And we're going to stop here and take a look at the other features, excluding the, just the launchers. But as you can see, this is a Galaxy S4 weather widget. So it's from Galaxy S4. Um, you get S-Voice from Galaxy S4, and it works. So I'll give it a few seconds just to start up. What time is it? Let's go and try that one more time. What time is it? And there you go. So that was a problem with that one. So did it come up? Let's say what the date is. What is today's date? Date. Today is Sunday, April 14th. There you go. So Sunday, April 14th, 2013. As you can see, the voice is working. Everything's working. All the commands are working just fine. Um, For S Translator from Galaxy S4, um, it does work, but uh, microphone doesn't work. So if I try a microphone, it's not going to work. But if you say, like, hi and translate it, it's going to say hola, it's going to work fine. So you just have to type it out if you want to use it, uh, my, just microphone won't work, that's the only problem. So you can see hola, so that's fine. Um, you also get, as you can see, um, the icons are a Samsung look, so they're pretty basic. Um, you got you you get both a 4.2 camera and stock Samsung camera, so you get Photospear working. Photospear, and sorry about reflection, you can't really see it, uh, they show you. And there you go, it is working. So it's all working. Uh, stack stock camera, like I mentioned earlier. That's from uh, no, that's a Note 2 camera. You also get S notes. So if you can go and take a look at that, um, you get S note to go and type it. So cancel. Let's go and add a new one. And here you can go and type it if you want. You can go and scribble on it or do whatever. You can change the font. You can change it all. So you can type it if you want, or you can do whatever. So you get uh, the note features. <clears throat> Um, you also get other apps. Uh, you get uh, Photo Wizard if you want uh, notes. 
I think that's from note tab uh, 8.0 you can add more and you can go and type it um, so you can go and take your notes you can go in there uh, you can change the color I believe there you go you can change the color so you can change it to yellow if you want so you can go and write it high tf9 tech fanatic 9 cancel yes um, so you get those apps as well and you also get um, in settings you get um, Samsung Galaxy S4 theme for settings. So if you've seen Galaxy S4 videos, you know it's a white theme for the settings, and that's very similar to look to this one. Um, you are running on RLS 11. As you can see, that's the latest version from Hyperdrive right now. Android version 4.2, so that's the latest version of Android. And you also get ROM controls, so you get your basic ROM controls, which I'm not really going to go into as you've probably seen a lot of other videos. And you've probably seen my uh, previous video from Hyperdrive ROM review. Um, I went through these settings, I do believe. If I do remember co correctly, I did. Um, you also get uh, Galaxy S4 wallpapers. So if we go to Hyperdrive wallpaper, scroll all the way to the end, and you also uh, you get Galaxy S4, Galaxy S4 wallpapers. So let's go and apply this one. The balloons one is pretty popular. Um, you saw that you also get Hyperdrive wallpapers. Hyperdrive, right there. So you get Hyperdrive. A lot of them, actually. Let's go to the end. Where's the end? Oh, see, there are a ton of them. You get that. You also get multi-window, if I mentioned that. And as you can see, it's themed to the Galaxy S4. Um, Galaxy S4 has a lot of white in it from settings to multi-window now, which is themed. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of white. Um, it's just a theme from Galaxy S4. So you can go and put camera from 4.2 if you want. Um, both cameras won't work at the same time if you're going to try that, um, from my experience. And we can add file manager. And we can do both at the same time if you want, you know. So it's pretty cool. So it works. One bigger. If you want to make it smaller, you can, you can make it smaller as well, which is awesome. Um, and those are the highlights of the features from Hyperdrive RAM Review. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button in the bottom left hand corner. And please do consider subscribing in the bottom left hand corner as well. Uh, donate to the developer if you have the time and the money. I have links down below for the RAM and source for the developer's link for this RAM. So be sure to donate if you have the money and, because this is a great RAM. Fantastic round. Probably one of my favorite rounds overall um, currently. Thanks for watching, guys. That's about it. Don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links are down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.